Give me an example, if you can, of a couple important votes that he's taken in his first year that you would have cast differently. Well, first of all, I would have cast differently a vote. I would have cast a vote against defunding Planned Parenthood. I'd go a step further. I would work to repeal the Hyde Amendment, which makes it difficult for women who are low income to have the same right to make decisions about their bodies as middle income have, middle income women and high income have. So I would do that and I would do it very differently. I would be voting very differently on the it would vote in a different way on the free trade bills. Uh, he voted f- against. He voted publicly against fast tracked when it f- when it f- when the bill Kate ran through Congress and it was killed. He voted on the right side with labor. In the second vote that was public, he voted with labor again. But the critical vote that he took was against labor. He voted on a procedural decision, procedural issue, which enabled Boehner to bring the bill back up after it had been killed, to bring Fast Track back up after it had been killed and to get a second vote out of that. That's not just a little procedural issue. That was effectively what moved Fast Track quickly. So I would be different on that. I would also be different on the Iran deal. That's not a vote, but I believe it's the best, the best arrangement we can get right now. It carries risks. Working against the Iran uh, deal is carries its own risk and working and doing as we're going to do. Signing on to the treaty carries risk, but we need to take these risks for a decent, pe- more peaceful society. If we don't participate in it, our allies are going to start changing the embargo with Iran and we're going to lose their engagement and effectively, we're not going to be effective. I'm Grant Reher, and I'm speaking with Eric Kingson, a Democrat who's pursuing election to Congress in New York's 24th district. You mentioned you would like to see the repeal of the Hyde Amendment. So I just want to be clear for our listeners. It, it sounds like then the position you're taking is that you would support um, federal money being used for abortion then. Absolutely. Okay. So I don't, that's that. not to say that I think abortion is something that anyone does without a lot of thought or should do without a lot of thought. But I don't think it's the government's business to decide how a woman decides to use her body. 